Let's turn the spotlight to the South Korean public now and their reaction to the inter-Korean summit. Around this time last year, people here in Korea were talking about the peninsula potentially being on the brink of war. So when the two leaders vowed there would be a new era of peace on the Korean peninsula on Friday, it's easy to understand why many South Koreans were so excited to hear that news. Won Jung Hwan reports. When the two leaders from South and North Korea announced the Panmunjom declaration to the public on Friday, people in the South cheered and applauded the statement. I'm very glad that the summit was more successful than expected. I think it was a memorable and meaningful moment being able to witness how things unfolded on such a historic day. I think the results are above expectations, especially because I didn't think they would agree to an official declaration of the end of war. I think it's great news for the Chinese, South Koreans and North Koreans. I've heard there could be war several times during the 10 years that I've lived in Korea, and my parents have been telling me to come home. I'm so happy with the results of the summits. The leaders agreed to a range of measures aimed at promoting peace and reconciliation between the divided Koreas, including holding high-level dialogue in the near future and resuming family reunions on National Liberation Day on August 15th. And there are other things some of the Korean public would like to see happen. Reunions of separated families should take place regularly, but besides that, economic, social and cultural exchanges should also be regularly carried out following today's successful summit. It was a shame to suspend tours to Mount Baekdu due to an unfortunate incident. But I hope the momentum of increasing ties between the two Koreas could mean the tours resume again. As the two previous summits held between the divided Koreas in 2000 and 2007 didn't lead to much in the long run, there were some concerns that this agreement might end up a bit like those past cases. But some people who watched this third inter-Korean summit live on TV said that this time things could be different. Since the past summits were all held in Pyongyang, I felt like they were somehow one-sided meetings. But I think I can see the positive side of the Panmunjom summit. The summits in the past were kind of led by North Korea. But I see some difference in this year's meeting between Moon Jae-in and Kim Jong-un at Panmunjom. It might be too early to tell whether the joint declaration will lead to a different result than the previous agreements between the two Koreas. But at least for now, the Korean public can finally hope that this is the start of an era of lasting peace on the Korean peninsula. Won Jong-un, Arirang News.